Sim. Um, I feel extremely lucky to have gotten this recognition at only 17 years old for my first time acting in front of the camera. It feels kind of wild. Um, and just to be in the same lineup as my film idols feels like a true full circle moment. And it's only inspiring me to work harder and to be more determined. Um, I heavily rely on my instincts when I'm acting, so I think I've always kind of naturally gravitated to the Meisner approach of, to acting. Um, that being said, I also do sometimes method, especially for behind the scenes. Um, a week before we started filming, I created a fake Instagram page and I kind of pretended to be an influencer for a week so I could really get in the headspace of someone who's constantly sharing their lives online. Yes, I've studied um, theater and performance since I was six. I would really like to be in a biopic one day. I think it'd just be so much fun um, to play like a legendary character um, from pop culture and history. So, hopefully. Um, the pressure is around being a young actress, you know, I know that they have everything to do with my work and nothing to do really with me, so, you know, the, an actor's job is really simple, you gotta play a character in your most authentic way possible and that's always what I'm striving, striving to do and, you know, the rest is like really out of my control. I mean, there are so many, but I would say Margot Robbie is a huge inspiration of mine. Uh, her performances are always so powerful. She has an incredible range, and she made her own production company to be able to star in the kind of films she wants to be in, so really badass. The best way to become a, a professional actor is by doing, so if it means, you know, um, volunteering in a student film, do it. If it means acting in your local play, do it. If it means making your own projects, your own play, your own film, do it. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much for interviewing me.